side sweep, 45 degree step. Again, I'm going to protract it. I don't care about the measurements specifically. Stop the weapon here, redirect here. As you do that, when you bring this across, this chambers, this will go in or here, whichever one you want to choose. Light touch for safety, all right? Sir. We're all on the same page right here. Yes, Everybody's got some experience, so I don't have to go, don't do that. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> so bring it down, touch the middle of the thigh, if you will. Uh, hip bone is fine, knee is fine, whichever angle you're going for. I don't want to see, for safety right now, this, which was the, is the normal uh, inflection of this. Okay? We have levels of escalation. <coughs> Consider this your cousin of the family picnic. You don't want to kill him, it's going to be awkward at Christmas. <laughs> sorry, Grandma. So, when this angle one comes in, go here. I'm sorry. Here, here, drop. All right? Let's get that far. Um, regardless of what you may or may not think of, one system or another, everybody has a system of evasion. Everybody. We're all from the same root ball. We're just different branches off the same tree. Outside, sweep, check, and retrieve. So as this comes back, okay, we're checking this arm, placing it here. Again, place this as a blade would be placed. We're not looking for the back of the hand. We're not looking for the flip. Consider that a collie stick normally would weigh about three to four and up in terms of pounds. This would not be a light weapon. This was practice stuff. This was, oh, well, we're not supposed to kill each other, so all right, we'll try this. Um, these were uh, live swords. Uh, my copy line weighs about 22 pounds. So, and it stands this high. When you, when you hit with it, you have to darn well use some footwork and body torque. All right? So again, as angle two comes in, you go off here, check. Slight shift with the rear foot as it comes in again. One, two. This brings your circle around. You're starting into the numerato. All right? Find a partner that's different, try it. Go inside sweep. Oh, he's a survivor. I'm going to go in here, disarm. Okay? Simple, simple. Very, very simple stuff. Again, inside sweep. This goes. Strikes, whatever strikes you're going to use. Then you go here to the wrist, simple disarm. All right? Anybody not know this disarm? Right? We just did this. Sure. One, two, three. Oh, look, I'm in this now. Oh, okay, wait, we've done that too. Same, same. That's a Filipino Hawaiian <laughs> saying of, yeah, six of one and a dozen of the other. No big deal. It's the same thing. Whether you're working with karate, kung fu, uh, Filipino martial arts, whatever, all we're doing is putting the flow to it. This is really going to get um, As a fat man, y'all didn't notice, um, there is a meal in front of you. If I put just a piece of meat on there, it's not a meal, is it? It's just a piece of meat. If I put some vegetables, potatoes, whatever else, now it's more of a meal. But in the South, you put gravy on all of it. <laughs> because that makes it what? Better. We're putting gravy on it. This connects the meal. This connects <coughs> this martial art with this martial art with this martial art because it makes them flow. As Buzz said yesterday, the Filipinos spend a lot of time taking pieces and blending. Well, I'm just going to make this a little bit better. That was insulting to whomever, but it, it did make it flow better. If I come out with this kind of block, this is wasted motion. You chamber here, it's smaller, but it's still effective. That's what you're looking for. Because we look at everything, uh, if he punches, it's the same thing to me. This is still the blade. I still treat it just the same. That way, in case it is a blade, I didn't see it. I'm still okay. This is how I like to try to compare this. This is now angle five, right? It's still angle five. It's still angle five. It's still angle five. Uh, for you, it may be a different number, but it's a thrust one. It's a punch. Here, here. Here, right? Here. 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 All 
the different locks, takedowns, whatever you're looking for. Everybody likes to put it in color, right? It's pretty. We call it the clock principle, six and twelve. Same thing. Heads at twelve, this is you change it. Equal and opposite. Okay? So let's get to this. Um, empty hand version. He's going to throw a back hand, catch, catch. From here, roll, switch, press. If he has a straight arm, what do we do? Bend it. Bend it. Bend it. <laughs> now you bend it, however you want to. You, you got it here. If, if this doesn't work tight then you take his head. Now look, it bent. Oh, look, okay, there. And politics aside and systems aside, we need to all get along. Um, all it does is give us black eyes in the martial arts if we argue with each other. Oh, well, he's a this and this is a this and this is a this. Okay, well, we don't worry, have to worry about enemies on the outside. We're too busy fighting amongst ourselves. And you can't do that. You just can't. Um, good at that. Good at that. Through Larry, all of them, I never heard them say a crossword about anybody other's system. Uh, at no time did I ever hear them uh, espouse, well, this way is the best. It's the only way to go. At no time. And it's kind of pointless. So uh, the brotherhood aspect of this uh, really appealed to me about making sure that this is, um, I want this to survive. <laughs> this weapon. If you touch a blade, it is dead. The bastone is an impact weapon. You want as much separation from it, or you want to smother it. With this, if you smother it, you're going to get killed. So be very, very cautious about how you smother it. These, these are, it literally takes this to fillet your arm. So, um, with that said, let me borrow someone, Nathan, may I borrow you, <clears throat> We're going to stay with the same basic angles for now. In, in the literal translation of the bastone, this would go cut, check. The reason behind the check now has become not just to keep the blade off of me because I've hopefully cut him badly, but to, and this is how deeply it goes in their blade culture, to keep the blood out of your eyes because it's going to be squirting. If anyone has ever cut themselves or seen anyone cut, you know what I'm talking about. This does not come out and they dribble. This kind of boom. I don't know if it actually makes that sound or not. It's a DJ, I make sound effects. So as this cuts, you check. This can go one of several hundred different ways, if not thousands. But for us, it goes here. Now I have flattened the lung or run into the liver, spleen, wherever, internal organs. After we go here, and again, this is not pleasant, it's cut up, ripping inside of the flesh, cut the throat so he doesn't scream. It's very quiet, it's very effective. The next show takes it this way. One shot, one kill. He's very quiet, and it's directly through to the spinal column. One shot, one kill. That's why I said be very, very cautious with these blades that have a point on them. They're beautiful, but be very, very cautious. Even the rubber ones can be very deadly right now. All right? So we're going to take this two different ways. We're first going to go one, and again, we're working off the female triangle. One, two, three. Take it to here. Let's get it to that point. Do whatever follow-up you normally do in your system, whether it's a figure eight up, We'll figure eight down, one side of the X, whatever makes you happy. Be cautious with each other, all right? Respect one another. Let's try it. <laughs> so when this goes, this goes, right? So now that we're just going to go with the simple method. You should see the look at his face right now, his eyebrows are straight up. <laughs> Control. Control. In slow motion, let me show you what else happens as this goes. Cut. Thrust. Okay? So when this goes again, it's cut thrust. I've disarmed without having to disarm because I got his attention over here. Here to here. 
This is in the midst of flipping as it goes by. I, this is an incidental cut. I don't, I don't care. Everybody always says, well, what about his other hand? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What about his other hand? <laughs> it's but let's it. say it's Pacquiao that I'm going up against. So I go here. And again, if this is the empty hand version now, same set. If you don't have a blade, many of us aren't able to carry it. Ladies, if you do carry them, don't put them in your pocketbook. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. I have a wife. She carries everything in there. She can't find anything. I'm worse. I don't have anything. I expect it to be in that purse. <laughs> Which she's got everything for the kids and everybody else, but nothing for me. I'm like, well, really? No? No knives? Okay, great. Uh, so make sure that you are cognizant of the fact of where this is going. I know that's a special three syllabic thing, but uh, the idea is that this is coming from a natural position. Derecho is about one shot, one kill, done and done. Time, if this guy goes to gut me to get this out. So I've got to go here. I've got to go to what I know. You recognize this? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing we did a while ago. So this goes here, I'm still not cut. And this goes here. <laughs> His wrists are not very flexible. No kidding. But, the, <laughs> but the idea is the same. And again, as this goes up, if you've got it bent, you'll be okay. It's accidental. It's not something I'm working on. Oh, I want to get that knife out. Hang on, let me think about it. No. You have to go from where you're at. If he walks up and throws an angle one, it's one to one. This is derecho. Derecho, one shot, one kill. When Kali was brought out for the masses from behind closed doors, you guys quit grinning. <laughs> it was commercialized. Commercialized made it parry, safety check, hit. No, you don't do that in the jungle. It's, oh, crap, he's trying to kill me. It's got to go, it's got to go now. Guru Lucky's uh, ending for most of his techniques, you cap him, boy. And I thought he was talking about a gun. No, it's a decapitation. And he was serious. And this is how serious he was. So this is a combat, this is a martial art, not a dance. Kali has dances in it. This is not it. You put a kerchief in my hand and I. I do the moto moto, that's fine, but this isn't it. <laughs> this wasn't put out for the Spanish consumption. This was for them. You have to, again, understand the culture. When the Philippines were conquered by everybody else, they were like, you people are really good with knives and stuff. That's illegal, you can't do that anymore. And because we can't read that Sanskrit crap, we don't want you doing that either. So now they can't do their language. If they're caught speaking in their language, they're decapitated, they're killed. If they're caught writing their language, well, that was even worse, that's public hanging. If they're caught practicing blades, well, heaven help the first guy in to try to stop them, but <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna kill you. This was martial law. They came in and said, no more of this, you got, so they practiced, that's why, everybody understands the logo, right? Why there's a crescent moon in it? Because you practiced at night, you had to. 
The idea of that crescent moon holds a lot of meaning for them.